Ayan mga katag, kasama nyo ako, Pepper Ru At ito ang ating special guest for today. Eh, alam nyo naman, naririnig nyo ang kanyang kanta ngayon dito sa Tag 91.1. Hot na hot na pandesong natin yung kanta niyang nakalimutan. We have here Noah Raquel. Hello! Hi everyone! <laughs> How are you, Noah? So, have you ever been to Dubai or UAE in general? Oh, I haven't. I haven't. I would love to go though. I would love to go. You'll never know. Malay mo, diba? This year, next year. Kasi pata- you'll, you'll pala. never know. Hopefully. You'll never know. Let's leave it yeah, at yeah. that, diba? Whenever you get to be invited or you even host your own concert here. Mmm. Mmm. Diba? Uh, that sounds exciting. good. That would be exciting. <laughs> so, we want to get to know you first kasi diba, you've started on social media, no? And then you started doing covers first and then now you're releasing your own songs. Diba? Nakaka- yes. Nakakatawa naman makita yung journey mo. Pero syempre, bago yun, gusto namin malaman, where did you start, ano ba, saan ba nang galing yung love mo for music? Kasi you started doing covers, eh, diba? Okay. So, napaka tagal na ng start nung love my love for music kasi since i was a child i've always been exposed in music my parents always played good music and you know as a filipino as a filipino child diba alam mo naman yung mga pag may party pinapakanta yung mga <laughs> relatives ah, ganyan so Lalo na pagka you know, and, you know it's it's a diba, it's a common filipino tradition so dati pa dati pa akong may love for music pero nag-join ako ng dance um, group nung college ako. So, of course, that's also related to music. You, you can't dance without music, di ba? No, naman. And so, tapos nung, sorry, nag-jump ako college agad. Tapos nung high school and elementary, I was singing in bands. Ganyan, playing the guitar, um, learning to play the guitar, and gaining confidence in uh, singing, my, uh, singing, singing songs. So, na-develop yung voice ko, yung playing guitar, guitar playing skills ko. And so, ayun. Tapos, nung after the pandemic, I mean, nung nag-pandemic, um, nawalan ako ng trabaho. So, I had nothing to do. So, yun. Sinabi mo, di ba, nag-gawa-gawa ako ng covers. Yeah. Doon ako, nag-start, ako na-start talaga matuto mag i-combine lahat ng skills ko. Yung guitar playing skills ko, yung singing, and yung Uh, dancing. So, that's why pinagsama-sama ko yun and then nakapaggawa na rin ako ng magagandang covers, I would say, before. And then, yeah, yeah. na kung baga, the rest is history. Kasi, ang dami, you already have a, a good number of following on social media. Gusto ko yun, di ba? Sometimes, you get to see, you said earlier na nawalan ka ng work during the pandemic. Pero, something good came out of it din naman towards the end yeah. kasi look where it, where it brought you now diba so humble beginnings which is good so with that uh, you said you have your covers ayan napagsama-sama mo yung uh, three things that you love from guitar to singing to dancing ngayon naman what was your transition from doing covers and then now putting out your own music into the world yes so so um, initially it was, it was very scary of course it's scary because you know Making covers, the, the the songs that you choose are already popular and people mm-hmm. already know them. So, walang hindi yun papalya. Like people, because people already know them and people know the lyrics, the melody. But of course, original songs, it's it's such it's a different game, talaga. Like you have to make a really good song and you have to promote it. And no una trinay ko siyang gumawa. Trinay kong gumawa ng English music. And it didn't feel right. It didn't feel me. Mm. It didn't feel personal. So, you know, nag-experiment, experiment ako. And then, na-try ko yung nakalimutan. Gumawa ko ng... Um, like, I-, I made a guitar loop. Na, Tapos, trinay kong... Isok-sok yung nakalimutan mo na ba? Kung bakit mo ko nagustuhan. Um, sobrang upbeat nung, nung, nung production and song. Pero nung in-insert ko yung Filipino lyrics na masakit, na mapde, yeah. it, it did so well. It, 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 parang 
Wow, ano to? Parang bakit ngayon ko lang to Trinay? Bakit ngayon ko lang Trinay gumawa ng Filipino lyrics uh, with the uh, yung production na influenced by western music. So ganun siya. So I would say na nakalimutan was the very first uh, time that I liked making my own music. Because I've tried making uh, English yeah, songs other before. Other people's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't it really didn't feel right. So this one, you can say na more. It's really, kumbaga, nag-start ka na. You did covers. You you put together in original English songs. Sngayon with nakalimutan. I guess you could say na you found your own sound. No, as a no Raquel. And with that, eto naman ang tanong ko. How would you define yung sound mo? Like. Musically, para as an artist, who is Noah Raquel? Ah, alam mo, Pepper, mahirap sagutin yung tanong na yan. <laughs> kasi, <laughs> kasi for for me, for me, I'm at a point when I where I'm just starting. Yeah. And if I define myself, if I confine myself in my own box, na ito ako, uh, ito lang yung kaya kong gawin. Lagyan ng drums, lagyan ng guitar, lagyan ng vocals. Uh, I, I don't, I don't want to do that. Like mm. as of now, I want to explore, and I wouldn't say that my songs right now, yun yung magiging sound ko for the rest of my career. Career. Like maybe in three months time, gumagawa ako na gumagawa na ako ng completely different sounding music, and 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 it's it's exciting. It's exciting because you know. Uh, I want change. I want to change. Uh, as a as a normal person, you know, lahat tayo nagbabago. And it, I I wouldn't want to stay stagnant and boring by confining again, confining myself in my own box na same sounds na lang yung pinipili ko and paulit-ulit na lang yung kantang ginagawa ko. So ayoko naman mangyari. So sorry hindi ko masagot yung tanong mo. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. Kasi nga I was kind of expecting that din naman that you're still there kasi nga, like you said, you're starting, di ba? Right now, kumbaga, this is your sound. You found that, kumbaga, your voice. But at the same time, as an artist, kasi we don't, as human beings, we don't stay the same naman. Uh, uh, in general, di ba? The only constant thing in life is change. So, yes. for now, parang, I guess, I like what you said din naman na, you don't want to confine yourself in a box. So, I guess it's that kind of definition of who you are then that you put into your music. That it's also, kumbaga, interchanging, but at the same time, remains, kumbaga, genuine to who you are as a person then. Kasi mukhang you're the type of person then na, you, you really like exploring different aspects of your life. And now you get to express that through your music then. So, Kuha ah. ko ba? Yes! Yes! <laughs> galing, galing. So, ngayon naman, you have nakalimutan, no? So, like I said earlier, it's part of our Hot Pande song. So, every month, we have these uh, Hot Pande song, meaning these are the latest uh, hit tracks right now. So, we played that uh, every, almost every hour. Kumbaga, or eh, every day. Yan, every day. Wow. <laughs> it's a tag 91.1. And your song, nakalimutan, is one of it. One of wow. them, one of those different songs. So, ngayon, share mo na konti yung intro, how you started to create na kalimutan. Pero we wanna get to really know ano ba ang kwento behind this song? What was the inspiration to put it together? Was it more of uh, experiences, own experiences, other people's experiences, or it's more of like an observation entirety of it all? Pero bakit bakit yon per se ang unang-una mong ginawang Tagalog song bakit nakalimutan yeah so 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 nakalimutan it came out of nowhere mm. um, of course of course uh, meron yung personal story for me but but I would say that it came from nowhere kasi yung lyric na yon nakalimutan mo na ba kung bakit mo ako nagustuhan yun yung first line talaga na linagay ko sa song and it worked so well yeah. so what I wanted to do is work on that good foundation. Kasi parang feeling ko, yung line na yun, napaka lupit niya na eh. So, gusto ko lang tapusin yung song from that line. And so, I would say that like, 
maybe around 20 to 30 percent of the song is about me, about my personal experiences, about my past with my uh, old relationship. Yan, yan. But I would also say na 70% or 80% of the song, um, yung lyrics or your story was made because I wanted it to be a good song instead of, you know, ranting, alam <laughs> or ranting or letting my feelings out. So, yeah, I would say that naging focus ko talaga yung making a good song and, you know, I had this uh, lyricist who was working with me. Okay. Her name is Sam. You know, uh, ang goal lang talaga namin manakit, manakit ng tao at <laughs> maglagay ng masakit na lyrics. So, yun. Ganun na po yung nakalimutan. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, no? And I like, kasi sinabi mo, you don't wanna just rant about that that past relationship that you've experienced. So, pero gusto mo yung masakit kasi ang lakas ng dating, 'di ba? But yes. it's a it's such a feel good song din kasi, yung nakalimutan. Hindi siya yung, <laughs> hindi siya yung like ano are, oh sorry, internationally like if Adele puts out a new song, kahit hindi, right. kahit wala kang pinagdadaanan because of right. the emotions of her of her song, the arrangement of her song. Parang ikaw din gusto mo na lang magwalwal sa isang tabi, 'di ba? Right. That's right. that's how right. her songs are. But with this one, oh, oh sabi mo 'di ba, yung masakit yung lyrics eh, yung nakalimutan mo na ba yung yung that love, kumbaga. Pero it's a feel good song if you listen to it. Parang gusto mong ganyan. Tapos pag iniintindi mo yung lyrics, parang Teka, ang sakit nito ah. Tama, tama. <laughs> ang aray ko, tama to. Ganon. So, I like the kuha, contrast kuha na how you did. <laughs> Ganon <Yeah>. ba? <laughs> Yan nga eh. Pero eto, syempre, hindi tayo nagtatapos dyan. No? Hindi lang natin gusto kilalanin yung uh, story behind na kalimutan. Gusto rin natin iba to sa'yo. Okay? Kasi I have this segment on my show that it's called Popcorn React. So, I react to the latest songs films you know that are out there but this time around since i have you here you're going to be doing your own rating sa iyong kantang nakalimutan 10 being the highest ganyan okay so ilang popcorns ang maibibigay mo for nakalimutan now this is i'm talking about in general no the entire song ayan if you were to rate it what would you give it Ako, mayabang ako eh. So, I'd give it a 10. <laughs> kasi, kasi, I I don't think I'll ever make another song that sounds like this. That's this raw. That's, that's uh, at this point in my uh, exploration, kumbaga, or it, at this point in my career na parang, I I feel like gagaling pa ako ng gagaling eh. Pero, never ko nang mababalikan yung gentong level na rawness ng production ko and you know, composition ko ng songs ko. So, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> wow, iba talaga. Pero, I like it, no? I like, kasi it's true. Diba? Never mo na nga talaga. This is a point in your life na you don't get to experience again. And, the, yeah. and a thing in life is, the only thing that you can't really come back to is time. No? So, once you've done it, you've done it. That's it. So, gusto ko yan. Pero gusto ko rin yung yabang aspect nito. Na mas gagaling at mas gagaling ka pa. So, susundan natin yung career mo talaga. So, ito naman, no? For your fans, how can they find you? What can look they can look forward to? We know you have a new song that you just released. Yes. So, you can find me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, saan pa ba? Um, YouTube, and I'm always posting short videos on TikTok, on YouTube Shorts, on Instagram Reels. And talking about the new song, Joa. Yan, may bagong song. Masakit din siya. Pero at the same time, masaya. Um, ayun. Um, siguro more songs soon. Pero ayoko pa kasing i-announce right now. Basta darating na lang yan bigla. Oo, basta susubaybayan ka na lang ng ating mga <laughs> ano, mga katag, no? Lalo na here right. in the UAE. We're always out to listen to new music and they can follow you on social media naman. So, they'll get updated there. So, yun. Thank you so much, Noah. Tag 91.1 Pinoy talaga!